everyone, welcome to part two of Estate Planning and Probate. Again, my name is Sofia, and here we are with attorney Claudia Cobrero. What happens when someone dies without a will? When someone passes away and there is no will, you still have to go to probate. That's a big myth I come across in my practice. If someone has a will or doesn't have a will, you still end up in probate. The difference is that if there is a will, the judge would first confirm that it's a valid will and then distribute according to what the will says. However, if there is no will, Florida statutes dictate what goes to who and who gets what. What is the difference between a will and a trust? A will is a document that you leave where you write your desires for the day that you are no longer here. A trust is a document that you create now where you retain full power over the trust. Basically, you have the ability to designate what will happen with everything inside the trust while you are here, but also when you are no longer here. Think of it as a driver in the car. You're the driver, you decide what you do. When you are no longer here, you set up or you designate a successor trustee. So it's like, if you can't drive anymore, this is the person that's gonna drive when I have to stop driving. Claudia, what is the first step to prepare for all of this? Having the conversation is really all that it takes. It's only a matter of meeting with a professional that knows, you know, whether it's that you want to do a will or you want to do a trust. Make an appointment. You can call our office, for example, and make an appointment for a consultation. And we can talk about what your goals are to determine whether a will or a trust or what would be best for your goals. Thank you so much, Claudia, and thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels, Instagram, and if you have any questions about your property, email us or text us. We're here for you.